are in middle school. They are in middle school. So then there is a knock at the door, y'all. There is a knock at the door. And in walks this dude. He has this long, luscious hair. He's giving... If you've ever seen The Wire, the, the boy that be wearing the ponytails, that be trying to act tough, baby, he was giving that but on 10, okay? And of course, I'm speaking from past tense. This is the feelings that was brushing through <laughs> my body at that time, y'all. I had the hugest crush on him. He was one, one of my brother friends. So I'm like, oh my God, I got to ignore him the whole night and remain sane. Yeah, I'm fucking retarded. I always do some stupid shit. I always have to embarrass myself. So this was so fucking hard. So me and the girls, we go back in there. We're watching the first movie, which was um, The Fair-Headed Child. Yeah, when I tell y'all that shit was scary, it was scary. Okay, I'm talking about, well, I'm not even going to give any spoilers on a movie. Like, y'all got to watch it. It was one of them good, horrible, shitty movies that had a banging ass storyline a good ass movie so yeah we're watching that we're terrified the boys is in there arguing because it still smell like feet now it sounds like a fight about to erupt so i have to go and check the commotion because baby i'm the queen it's my day i go in there to check the commotion and my brother is about to fight my friend brother because his feet stink and i was like you cannot fight him you cannot fight him and he was like, well, either I'm going to fight him or somebody else is going to fight him or he's going to leave. He can't be over here and refuse to take a shower and his feet stink. And I'm not going to expose which friend's brother, clearly, because that's nobody's business. But, um, but yeah, so we're separating them. Then my mom comes in there. She's trying to like calm the room down because everybody's mad. Everybody want to fight. And I'm not going to lie. His feet smell real, real, real bad. They was like, as soon as he took his shoes off. And I was like, ugh. And they was like, eh, he ain't having no socks on. I was like, I would be mad if I had to sit through this smell myself. So I can't sit here and pretend like it wouldn't piss me off. And first of all, someone stinking does not matter. If you're having a bad day, you're off today, your BO is off today, your friend's responsibility is to tell you and your responsibility as a humane person in society is to go wash your ass and put on deodorant and baby powder those goddamn feet. But um, he was not trying to hear it. He was like, I'm not getting in the shower and I'm not taking a shower because I know it's not me. And... Baby, everybody tried to jump on him. My mama and my daddy had to break it up. And my dad went off, y'all. He went off. So at that point, I ended up going home because he was embarrassed because the boys felt like his feet stink. And my mama was like, you need to go talk to your mom to see if she's okay with you staying without your brother. Because if not, you have to go home too. So of course, I was I wasn't going to let her walk home alone, even though it was literally right across the street. And we walked back over there. Her mom was like, no, I'm not comfortable. If TJ was home, I would feel a little bit more comfortable. TJ is the older brother. He was super sweet to me, at least. To me, at least. But um, he was super sweet. She was like, if TJ was home, I would feel a little bit more comfortable. But I'm not comfortable because I don't know what you're doing, where you're at. And her mom was one of those moms where the boy could do whatever, wherever, whomever, but she's very, very tight and close-knit and sheltered around her daughters. I wish... No, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to skip right over that thought and that phrase. But I respect it and I understood it. Now as an adult looking back, I understand it. But as a kid, I fucking hated it. It made me so mad, so sad. But I understand it now as an adult. So anyways... Um, so she couldn't stay. So she ended up staying at home. We had to, I went back across the street, got her stuff, took it back over there. Cause we really didn't think her mom was going to say no. Like, how could you say no to this face? But baby, she said no. Base, it looked like she wanted to say hell no. But, um, I actually, you know what? If y'all remember Ed, Ed and Eddie, how the parents were just bodies and no face. I never remember her mother's face. I always remember her body. I always remember her voice, but I have never remembered her face ever. 
And I don't want to be funny, but there was one girl in the neighborhood who I really didn't like because she was a crybaby. And she used to cry and ruin my parties. And her mom and my mom was best friends, so my mama spoiled her. And I was just so glad that I didn't. At least I was like, I might not have any. At least I don't have her at this party. You know, it could have been worse. So I go back across the street. I let the girls be there. And yeah, why see? Why I see my crush in the kitchen getting ready to eat? And why was he eating before me? Like, I'm I'm the birthday girl. Why was the boys being served first? But my dad ended up bringing our plates to our palettes in the living room where we would set up for the movie night. So the boys had to eat in the kitchen. That's why they got their plates first. But I didn't know that at that time. So I'm just like, why are they eating first? And mm, look at my boo. So anyways, I got to tell y'all what I did. So... Fast forward past the boys eating, the girls are done eating, everybody's throwing their um, plates in the trash because my mama was not playing, baby, it was paper plates, cups, spoons, forks, everything was paper. She was not washing none of those dishes, it, but um, we throw our stuff in the trash, scrape our food away, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Why do I see Mr. Sexy is getting ready to go, y'all, getting ready to go, and I don't know why, but in my head, pick uh, who knows who knows but anyways moving on i thought this man was so sexy y'all jesus but um oh and i didn't tell y'all but he had long hair down the well no his hair was like down there his hair was like down his elbows he had long hair y'all and why did i have a crush <laughs> baby i did too back then but so anyways He's in the kitchen by himself. And I was like, this is my chance to introduce myself. Y'all, one thing about me, if I like somebody, I am applying pressure. No matter how lame the pressure is, no matter how much game I do not fucking have, if I like you, I'm about to let you know. So I go in there to spit game and apply pressure, bitch. I don't even remember what his name was. That's where my headspace was. His name is, his name and the Gangly Brothers is the only names I do not remember from this party. So... Me and him talking, and I introduced myself. I let him know it was my birthday, and I was in the third grade, and I'll be in the fourth grade next year. <laughs> now, mind y'all, my parents is in the room at this time because they was like, they already made sure that we were separated. They didn't know that he was getting ready to leave. But, um, yeah, so they're in the room. So I'm over here spitting my little game. And, uh, y'all, he gave me a hug. I still remember the butterflies, y'all. I still remember the butterflies I felt when he gave me that hug. I still remember my cornball ass reaction. Y'all, after he gave me the hug, I fell on the ground and just laid there in front of him. I didn't even let him walk away. I didn't even let him walk away. I was on the ground in three seconds just like this. It's <sighs> like just Oh my God, y'all. And he was just smiling and cheesing. And of course, I ain't never see this man again because we ended up moving before we had our next party, cookout, etc. But y'all, I used to ask my brother about him all the time. Like, what happened to that friend? What happened to him? I had the hugest crush. But yeah, y'all, my girls helped me get up off the ground because after about two minutes, he definitely left. Cause his ride had pulled up and I was still on the ground and my girls was like, come on, what are you doing? You is embarrassing. You is embarrassing. You're embarrassing yourself. They should have said that before I fell out. They should have gave me a pep talk of how to act before I laid out on the floor. They let me embarrass myself. So, you know, no accountability. <laughs> but nah, I shouldn't have did that shit. That shit was so embarrassing. Maybe if I had kept it cool, I would have got his number. I ain't even had no phone. Phones ain't. Phones weren't even a thing back then. If I'm not mistaken, back then, you called on the house phone after 9 p.m., okay? You had to sneak because you weren't even allowed to use that bitch. You called on the house phone after 9 p.m. But um, my party went good. We ended up finished following up with the fair-headed chow and then watching some silly movies because motherfuckers could not go to sleep after the scary movies, me included. <laughs> So, um, yeah, it was the best sleepover I have ever had. Um, and yeah, I still have many more, but I just don't feel that they were that good. I didn't 
fucked up and messed up my little um